Okay, so hello and welcome to room 139 at the Lanesborough in Knightsbridge, London. This is a deluxe room situated on the first floor of the property. So as you come in, immediately to your left is the wardrobe. It's got full length mirrors on the outside of the doors. Hello everybody, greetings from the Lanesborough in London. Inside the wardrobe, you've got the full length hanging space around the corners where you're gonna find the clothes brush, the shoehorn and the umbrellas. And then on this side, that's where you're gonna find the uh, um, hairdryer. Lots and lots of storage space, as well as storage space for your shoes at the top as well. Immediately on your right, as you come in through the door to the room is the bathroom. It is a shower over the bathtub setup. Uh, not my favorite, I have to say. Uh, unfortunately, also this shower screen doesn't deflect enough of the water, so we did end up with quite a lot of water on the floor um, as a result. Also feels a little bit odd to shower and splash all of that woodwork there and that mirror. Um, yeah, so a few, a couple of niggles there really. And um, the bathroom amenities are lovely though. They're made by Roja Dove, uh, Roja Parfum, exclusively for the lanes where they smell amazing. That's where you find all the towels. There's some more towels on a heated towel rail I'll show you in a second. It is a single vanity setup. Um, unfortunately, that mirror isn't heated or it isn't heated sufficiently. So it steamed up when I was having a shower, which meant that I couldn't use it properly for uh, shaving. So I had to switch this one on, which then had took time to heat up. So again, another little niggle. I, I, very, I was very surprised actually that um, in a luxury hotel, you didn't have a heated mirror. I thought that's pretty standard. These are always in lanes for bathrooms. They tell you the exterior temperature and also the time, and those are your controls for the television in the mirror. I really like all of the um, cut glass that they use, just, you know, even to just stand your toothbrush in. This is the toilet. There's no um, bidet or wash facilities. Um, heated towel rail, as well as a telephone, and underneath the telephone's a privacy button if you need it. There's also some scales down there if you want to weigh yourself, or your luggage. Let's go into the main part of the room. So as we come into the room, this is a lovely palette in here, actually. I, I like the color scheme. It's kind of yellow and green. Really nice. It makes the room feel airy. Because this is on the first floor, it's got the high ceiling, which I really like, actually. And I got asked, actually, on check-in, which would you rather have, um, a high ceiling or a shower over the bath? It's definitely got to be the high ceiling for me. I much, much prefer it. It just makes the room feel more um, spacious. So there's a queen size bed there. I'm saying queen, but it looks really big actually, but these rooms are supposed to only have queen size beds. It may be a king size though, possibly. Either side of the um, bed, we've got a lamp, a telephone. These panels here, you can use to control things within the room, so I can turn the lights down low, or I could make them very bright, or at night I can switch on a night light and then switch it off again. I can even do things like opening and closing the curtains. So if I hit on close curtains now, then you'll notice that what it does is it closes the curtains, which is a cool use of technology. And let's open them again. Um, you can also do things as well, like control the temperature of the room. So if you want to make it cooler, you can do, as well as increase the fan speed if you want it to go quickly. Um, you can ask them to make up the room through there, or you can call the butler. Um, and it's, a, it's just a good use of technology within here. It's one of those on either side of the bed. There's some reading lights above the bed if you want to use one of those rather than uh, one of the lamps on either side, some tissues there. Um, there's a little stand for your luggage. And here is the work desk. The chair is a little bit low for my liking. So it kind of makes you, in some ways it's good because it makes you your posture better. Um, but I would have liked the, um, the chair to be a little bit higher to work at the desk. Um, but it does have all of the kind of connections that you're going to need. So you've got um, different kinds of um, sockets there, world sockets. You've got an ethernet port. There is a USB to connect to a printer, which so each room has its own printer, as well as things like um, HDMI in and USB charging, which is good because you don't have to travel with the actual charger. You can just bring the cable. 
Um, there is the television. Normally in Lanesborough rooms, a painting slides up to reveal the television. For some reason, my painting appears to have got stuck. So uh, all I could see was the television all the time. Not sure how that happened. Here's the stationery. Scissors, sticky notes, paper clips, envelopes, all that sort of thing. Either side of the chair, so on this side here we've got a mini bar, all priced at the appropriate rate for a hotel of this standard. Here is another cupboard which has got like snacks and um, treats and more wine and things like that. Down on this side is where you're going to find the printer and the safe. And I don't know what's in this one, let's have a look in here. Ah, there's all the glassware. You can see I haven't used it. There's also an ice bucket um, down there as well. You get some complimentary waters on check-in as well as the fruit. And these little sweets are always in every Lanesborough room. Now, where does my room look into? It looks into the central courtyard. I actually quite like that. For a business stay, what it ensures is good quality sleep um, because it's very quiet. I don't really need the view as such. So um, that worked out really well for me. There's a nice comfortable chair there. And in terms of the bed, it was extremely comfortable. Um, like all Urk properties, the bed was firm but comfortable, just how I like it. Um, I had really good quality sleep in here. There was nothing that kind of annoyed me or disturbed my sleep. Um, and um, there was very minimal noise from the corridor. So this is room 139 at the Lanesborough in Knightsbridge, London. It's a deluxe room on the first floor of the property. Overall impressions, I really like the Lanesborough. They do really, really good things. The hard product is great. The service is really friendly. Um, in fact, it's the, probably the friendliest I've known at this time. Um, perhaps as, as you come more and more, they get to know you. And, and uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed staying here. I was just here for one night on a business trip. Um, it did everything I needed. So I got fed really well. I was able to use the spa um, and I slept really well, which is exactly what you need. So this is 139 at the Lanesborough. Um, if you get to come to London, I would highly recommend you stay at the Lanes, but you'll really enjoy it. It is quintessentially British. If you want a great British hotel, the Lanesborough is definitely where it's at.